We want to solve a rational inequality with a rational expression less than or equal to zero. And we are going to use the sign table, which means that we have to factor the numerator and the denominator of a rational expression. So given the rational expression from question 8 in my open math, the numerator is ready, x minus 9. The denominator is a trinomial. I can factor it if I find two numbers that multiply to 84 and not to 19. The numbers are 12 and 7. So our factored expression is x minus 9 over x plus 12, x plus 7, and we want it to be less than or equal to 0. So this is our expression. And less than or equal to 0 means either negative or 0. So I'm going to do the sign table, and the sign table is the number line from negative infinity to infinity. A row for each one of the factors in this fraction. So x minus 9, x plus 12, and x plus 7. And the value of each of those factors as a positive, negative, or zero quantity based on the value that the variable takes. x minus 9 is 0 when x is equal to 9 x plus 12 is 0 when x is equal to negative 12, and x plus 7 is 0 when x is equal to negative 7. These three zeros split the number line in four intervals. I'm going to check the value of each factor in these intervals. x minus 9 is 0 when x is 9, and then it is positive when x is greater than 9, and negative when x is less than 9 x plus 12 is 0 when x equals negative 12, positive when x is greater than negative 12, and negative when x is less than negative 12. x plus 7 is 0 at negative 7, positive when x is greater than negative 7, and negative when x is less than negative 7. My expression is the product and quotient of these three quantities. So, when I multiply by a negative, and I divide by a negative and a negative, my expression will be negative. When I multiply by a negative, and I divide by 0 times a negative, my expression will be undefined because its denominator will be 0. When I multiply by a negative and I divide by positive times negative, my expression will be positive. When I multiply a negative divided by a positive and divided by 0, my expression will be undefined since there will be 0 in the denominator again. Multiply by negative, divide by positive, divide by positive. The resulting expression will be negative. Multiply by 0, divide by positive, divide by positive. The expression will be 0. 0 divided by any other non-zero number equals 0. And when I multiply by a positive and divide by positive, divide by positive, my expression will be positive. According to my inequality, I'm looking for areas on the number line where the expression is negative or where it's zero. The expression is negative on the left interval. It is negative between negative 7 and 9, and it is equal to zero only when x is equal to 9. So from negative 12 to the left, but not equal to negative 12, from negative 7 to negative 9, I can be equal to negative, I mean to positive 9 and not equal to negative 7. In interval notation, the solution set of the inequality, which includes values of the variable that satisfy the inequality, uh, is negative infinity comma negative 12 open union open negative 7 comma 9 closed.